80 game suspension for a diuretic called furosemide. I may or may not be saying it correctly. He is being suspended for 80 games. It starts immediately. He will spend his suspension on the disabled list. He will not be able to play in the playoffs if the Mariners, according to Ken Rosenthal, that is a major baseball rule. He will not be able to make the playoff roster because he is being suspended for a PED. Now, Nate, I know you don't know anything about steroids. I know we don't know anything about, you know, using or, or whatever, but yeah. he, he, fa- he failed the test, right? He failed the drug test. Now, what was the process that he had to go through? I mean, we all saw the letter that he wrote apologizing, not knowing what he took. It's a diuretic for for heart conditions, for liver, you know, for uh, high blood pressure. Uh, he wrote a, this letter to the Major Baseball Players Association, you know, I apologize. I'm not going to appeal it. I'm going to accept my sus- suspension. Is is that an admission of guilt or is that just I'm going to get it out of the way and not be a distraction? This happened in the off season. The, the positive test happened in the off season. We're not sure when he was notified, maybe before spring training, maybe during. There's an appeal process. Now, for a diuretic, it's not an automatic suspension. There's an independent investigation that determines whether the diuretic is being used for a condition or whether it's being used to mask something. And again, we don't know the investigation, but the Cliff Notes version is that the Players Union and Cano dropped their appeal. So something happens. Somebody knows something. The appeal is dropped. He's taken his 80 games. It's really too bad. He's, he's a surefire Hall of Famer. Mariners were doing doing well this year. They're right in the fringe of being playoff, you know, in that playoff race. It's it's too bad to see. 